Hi again folks, how you all doing? So a chap called Steve got in touch with me recently asking if I could uh, look at some old 003 rail locomotives that he had because uh, he's wanting to get them running for his grandson. Uh, I get a lot of emails from granddads who are setting up trains for their grandkids, which is good to hear. Uh, anyway, I've only looked up one uh, three rail locomotive before and that was an old N2 and lo and behold, here's another one. So let's see how this one goes round the loop. That's full power. Oh dear. Yeah. Nothing in reverse. So yeah, it's not a very well engine. It's uh, barely running at all. Uh, no shed for three rail. We'll just have to transport it by magic. Okie dokie then. Let's go we look at this. The old double N2 three rail. Uh, in reasonably good condition. Uh, a lot of paint scraping at the front there, so that screw's been undone a good few times. Uh, but other than that, there's a little bit of wear to the paint along the edges there, but it's absolutely fine. It's in very good condition, actually. Uh, looking underneath, there's quite a bit of oil, uh, and there's a bit of oil on the top here. So, yeah, it kind of looks like it's been over-oiled. Well, let's get a look inside and you can see why this paint gets scraped. It's very hard to undo that screw without scraping the body, but you should try and do so. There we go. Yeah, there's a lot of oil. Oh, crikey. Oh, we've got a broken wire here. That's interesting. That wire's broken. So that won't have helped matters. The armature's got quite a bit of play in it. Brushes look okay. Usual dirt in the commutator. But yeah, I think I clean up, uh, remagnetize, and it'll be okay, I think. We'll sort that out wire. Uh, just check polarity, so north points that way, which is to the right. Right, okay, let's get it apart. Do the great big bolt through there. It all falls out. It's absolutely soaked in oil, this thing. Gee whiz. It's like it's been in a deep fat fryer. Uh, right, okay. Pull that out. Pull that out. One spring. And the other one, I'll do this bearing at the top, which is loose. How much of it comes out? This is the ball bearing in there. Can't see it. I can't see the ball bearing in the other one either. Yeah, I think the ball bearing is in there. It's not wanting to come out, I don't think. Yeah, the ball bearing is in there, just not wanting to come out. Right, okay, let's just put these to the side. I need to get these brushes out. There's one. There's the other. Uh, so I think really we just need to give this a really good scoosh with the contact cleaner, get all the oil off it. We'll solder that back up. We'll uh, remagnetize it, clean it, put some fresh lubrication in. I think it'll be okay. Chief 
Let's just see how free moving these wheels are. Oh, that's fine. This came packed in polystyrene, so it's got little bits stuck in the spokes as usual. Make sure we get these brush shafts clean. Give the armature a clean up. onto this. It's the locking nut for the bearing. And we'll get the uh, commutator cleaned up, give it a squish first. And they'll tee cut the commutator. I've often thought of picking up one of these old N2s uh, to See if I can do a three rail to two rail conversion. Um, I quite often get asked if I can do that. And I always have to say, well, no, it's not something I've ever done. Um, you know, I don't think it's that easy a thing to do. You're going to have to insulate one, one set of wheels, build a pickup. But yeah, I'd like to give it a try at some point. Um, I also, also got asked if I could do a, a two rail to three rail conversion. <laughs> uh, nope. Make sure the gaps between the poles are clean. Bit of gunk in there. Give it a squish. There we go, that's not cleaned up. Put the brushes in some contact cleanup. to see if there is a ball bearing in there actually. I can't really see. Yes there is, there it is. It's just kind of stuck in there. Right, let's give that a scoosh from there. Cleans that out. Give the ball bearing a wee scoosh too. This is thick with oil as well. Gee whiz. So I think this gets the award as the most over-oiled locomotive I've ever worked on. Right, okay. I'll go and get myself a spot at lunch and then come back to this. Right, so, I'll get this soldered. Alright, I'll put this back together and re-magnetise it. Put some molly grease in there. And... Bearing back in, to put some molly grease on the end of there, gear oil on that thread, to put that locking nut on the top there, right, get this in position, like that, and then put that in there. setting about there and then we need to thread on that locking nut. Gravity is your friend here. To hold that and then tighten that nut. Cool, right, uh, brushes. I've been soaked in contact cleaner, give them a rub. Get all the grime off them. One end of the brush is slightly worn where it was in contact with the, the commutator. That one's not actually that bad. There's that one to be honest. So I don't think it'll really matter too much. But I wouldn't worry too much about that. You know, they'll they'll bed in themselves with running. So put that in there. with a spring 
and then refit that. Make sure that's in contact with the commutator, which it is. And do the same with this one. Pop it in. Show it the spring. And then shove that in. Like so. The magnet is fine. Okay, we'll remagnetize. Right, okay, let's pop this in. I'll give it a couple of blasts. Screw back through. I've just realised I've done a stupid thing. I've soldered that wire onto there, and I should have soldered it onto there. Um, that's creating a short circuit. <laughs> what an idea. Uh, that would explain why you know the, it was actually working, even with that wire disconnected. Um, that's just supposed to go into, uh, I don't know if that's a suppressor or whatever, but that's supposed to connect to there, uh, not there, but it was, you know, sitting right next to that, it looked for all the world like it had just come off, but it should be on there, because otherwise that's not going to work. I've got uh, positive and negative both connected to each other there, with a dafty. Right, we'll get it off. See if we can get it onto where it's supposed to go. There we go. Right. Put some oil into the axles here. Just and we drop on the linkages because it's had a good scoosh with the contact cleaner, so it's been well and truly degreased. Some fresh oil onto this rear bogey. Pop it back on. Okay, I don't have a three rail test track on my bench. Um, I could just go and pop it on the loop to see if it works. But I'm 100% certain that that will work. Um, if it doesn't, there's uh, something very wrong with it. Uh, so let's have a wee look at the body. Yeah, I think we'll do a very bit of sympathetic touching up on the paintwork. But we'll need to give it a clean first. Um, so we need to get some warm soapy water. Okay, so just some warm soapy water and a cotton bud. Okay, we'll touch up some of the paintwork. Um, I don't want to do too much to it, but just make it look a bit smarter. When I finally get around to getting myself a new airbrush and compressor, um, I quite fancy getting an old double bottle like this and, you know, stripping it right down to the bare metal and doing a completely fresh paint job on it. Maybe turn something into a Caledonian Railways livery or something. There we go. I think that'll do. I didn't want to touch it up too much. You know, I just wanted to uh, take the worst of the paint chips away. Right, we shall let that dry and then we'll get it back together and see if it runs. Okay, okay. Hook that on at the back. Come down there like so. That's going to fit under there. Let's screw very carefully, not to chip the paintwork again. 
just using our smaller screwdriver to put this on so it's not to chip the paint. Right all, let's go and stick it on the loop and see if it runs. Okay then, let's see if she goes. So there we are, that's this old Hornby Double Wing 2 sorted out. It just needed a good service and a remag really. Uh, but uh, you know, it was absolutely drenched in oil. Uh, mind you, better too much oil than too little. You know, you can always clean oil up, but uh, worn parts need replacing. So you know, it's very important to keep your locomotives lubricated, especially these old machines. Uh, yeah, always fun to work on these old things. Uh, you know, to not have any plastic parts and clips. Uh, proper little machines. And if, uh, if they're set up well and looked after, they can run very nicely. Right, I shall get this packed up and sent back to Steve, and we'll see what's next. Catch us later, folks.